There are many things I'm grateful for. Indoor plumbing, Nutella, my aunt and uncle, the internet. The list is virtually endless. But if there's a list of things I can totally do without, the number one on it is Nathan Alexander. To be more specific, I can totally do without my aunt and Mrs. Alexander constantly crooning about how they think Nathan and I would make a cute couple. I would rather a surgeon cut into me without anesthesia than date someone as arrogant and holier than thou as Nathan. Of course, no matter how many times I voice that, though a lot more nicely than Nathan deserves, it doesn't seem to get through Aunt Lydia and Mrs. Alexander's heads. They've been sailing this boat since Nathan and I were kids, and now we're in college, and, if anything, they've only begun steering the ship more determinedly no matter the rough waters Nathan and I send their way. They're tenacious, I'll give them that, if not exhausting. Ten minutes from our home, the Bleakers are throwing their annual end-of-summer party, it's around 65 degrees, so summer really is over, but that's the norm for New England warm weather. The backyard is filled with families from all over town, families with kids about to start or return to middle school, high school, or college. Little kids enjoy soda and juice while the adults sip their beers or alcoholic seltzers, and I crave for a sip or two or ten because of the conversation I'm currently stuck in. It's going to be so exciting, isn't it? You and Nate are in the same dorm building. How perfect. Mrs. Alexander grins, the smile lines on her face soft and her dimples deep. I shake my head in exasperation, a helpless chuckle escaping me as I sip the Sprite that's doing absolutely nothing for me right now. It's not enough that Nathan and I attend the same college, where he's about to start his junior year and I'm starting my sophomore, but over the summer, we found out that we were placed in the same dorm building, too. It's not too surprising, given that the building is known to house those in our grades, with the freshmen having their own building and the seniors having theirs plus the on-campus apartments. But as soon as his mom and my aunt found out we'd be living in the same building, they'd been ecstatic. They truly believe if Nathan and I actually spend any time together, we'd get along great, which is delusional, frankly. My only reprieve is that we're on the opposite sides of the building, as he's with the juniors and I'm with the sophomores.